What's going on everybody? Hey, we're taking a look at the new free-to-play April Fool's Yamcha who just got her EZA and Awakening here on JP and Global at the same time. I don't have any equips on her, but I think if you're going to build her anyway, you want to go dodge. You can't really give her too much dodge in her hidden potential system, so I gave her 8 uh, because I gave 2 crit to her. Um, probably could have given her like 8 additional and uh, 2 crit and then 10 dodge, but uh, that's about all you can give her. I don't really want to give her equips because I feel like they could do a... Oops. I feel like they could do like an equipment event for these uh, either Dragon Ball Saga or um, these April Fool's units in the future. But I think if you're going to build her anyway, you want to just go full dodge um, because she is a dodging character. We're going to take a look at that here in a second. Her super attack effect is she raises attack and defense by 41% for four turns. So that's good. She also has a high chance to stun her passive skill. She has an entrance animation. Um, she gets 40% attack and defense and a 29% uh, chance to dodge for four turns from the start of turn when there is a, a Goku youth on the team. Um, in the same turn as her, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Um, but And then she just normally has attack and defense 141%. High chance of evading enemy attacks, including supers. She gets an additional 41% attack within the same turn after evading an attack, dodging. Uh, plus an additional attack and defense 81% and key plus 9 when there is an ally whose name includes a Goku Youth attacking in the same turn. And then she gives Dragon Ball Saga category allies 40% and 29% defense, other uh, but not herself. So she's supporting like uh, everyone else on the team except for Vegeta, if you notice, by the way. I, I'm bringing this Vegeta for his support. Um, Kid Goku leads Exploding Rage, so this Vegeta will be just fine in this event. Um, so that's her. Um, her link's not good. She has Shocking Speed, which is decent. I don't really know who you're going to get it with, but at least it's like a normal key link, right? A uh, horrible link. Oh, uh, not really a good link. I, I, we, I guess we can get it with this guy on the team. Uh, this is a good link, right? This is like the main Dragon Ball Saga link. It's very important that they made this link good, and I'm glad that they did. Uh, they probably could have made it better, but, you know, they like, honestly, this could be like a 7 key and 7% attack and defense or something, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, uh, they should have made this better. Instead of crit chance here, they should have made this just 20% attack and defense. Um, and then Scientist is a horrible link. Like, you're, you're just, you're not getting this. I mean, look at this. No. Maybe one day we'll get a Jiro, and you can run Jiro and Bulma Youth together on all the teams they share. On the Scientist team. And then Shattering the Limit, this is an okay link, so. She actually does share quite a few with this guy, so. I'm bringing Jackie Chun, still at 55% here. Um, we should have, like, a world tournament coming up soon where I can get more dupes of him, but we, we will see. We got DKP. He should be fine in this event with uh, Kid Goku's around and his damage reduction up. He should be fine. Android 8, of course, is going to help lock us down. So um, my main rotations, hopefully, will be Kid Goku and Bulma and then Android 8 and uh, Kid Goku, but we will see the friend here. Let's go ahead and take a look at his build before we hop in. No dodge. Uh, I don't like that, but it is what it is, so... Uh, is there a better kid Goku? Like, can I, uh, listen, uh, is there a better, is there a better one? No, there's not. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna hop in with this. Let's see how it goes. That's enough blabbering away. Hopping into the Red Zone Cell Max event. Uh, decent opening rotations. I kind of got the rotations I wanted. Let's go ahead and hop in. I don't, yeah, nobody here has an intro other than Bulma. And hers isn't even voiced, so it's not a big deal. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just leave it just like this. This is fine. Uh, we can get... Let's do this. We need to make sure DKP can get his orbs, but I also need to get Kid Goku his. So let's do that. And then DKP. Nice. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Look at that. I mean, DKP, uh, like 90-year-old uh, world tournament unit holding up just fine. This is gonna hurt a little bit. Not too bad, though. Yeah, that Vegeta's insane. Uh, one of the best banner units in the game. Not quite as good as Piccolo, but uh, his support buff is stronger, that's for sure. And he's... I don't want to say he's on more teams, because Piccolo's on a lot of relevant good teams. But uh, Vegeta's probably going to have just, like, more teams in general as time goes on, maybe? I don't know. They're both on a lot of teams. They're both very powerful supports that guard... Uh, Vegeta definitely does more damage than Piccolo, but Piccolo can, like, what, seal and attack lower? I don't know. Like, uh, they're both very, very good. I think I like Vegeta a bit more than Android 8, uh, just because Android 8 can be in situations where he can get caught. Uh, like, his first few rotations, if he's not, like, right tied to the hip with a kid Goku, he can, I don't want to say he can look fraudulent, but I have had him ruin several runs because he just gets frauded out by not having a kid Goku next to him. 
But like in this situation, I am not worried at all. We can just put him in slot one and he'll be fine. Uh, what do I want to do here though? Because I don't really like how these orbs are set up. If I do this, it's going to drop all those purple. I don't really want to do that. Mm. I guess let's do this and see how this shifts them. Okay, not great. Uh, so we can't get the extra damage reduction for Kid Goku. But uh, Jackie Chun should be fine. He's going to have his, what, 50% damage reduction? Yeah, okay, so that first hit was the only one we had to worry about. Nice. Uh, my Android 8 is built full dodge, so... If he wants to do that, that'd be great. You know, they actually could have taken, like, more damage off of this Android 8 and uh, just put it, funneled it into his defense. Like, I would have rathered him not do, like, a 4 million attack stat. I would rather that be, like, a 2 million attack stat and him just have, like, a uh, fit, like... I don't know, 40% more damage reduction at the start of turn. Just make him invincible. But he does do wonders for this kid Goku. Look at this. Double 10 million attack stats with the possibility of a triple. Plus, he's got a pretty decent crit chance. All right, we failed the uh, coin flip there. We did get the uh, crit, though, so that's nice. So at least the normal did a little bit of damage. Uh, I think Jackie Chun is another character you want to just go full dodge on. Uh, he's like a very defensive floating type unit. Like, you just, you just want to kind of put him in slot three. Like, he does need to get hit three times, but... It's only three times, right? So it, it's like giving him dodge, he, he will still be able to get hit three times, I promise. So, oh, here's the intro. Look at that. Goku's never seen a girl before. He has to treat her nice. Dang, he's going to get started treating her nice. You know, Bulma blew it. She reflects on that in the Cell Saga or whatever. Or not the Cell Saga, the... Uh, the, uh, not the, I, I almost call it the Ginyu Saga, the Frieza, the, the Namek Saga, there we go. What is it? She's like, man, did I blow it? Like, yeah, yeah, you did, hon. You could have had this guy, this loyal father of your kids, but you got this other one. I mean, I, honestly, I'd say, listen, I'd say Bulma got the better end of the deal, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's only 200k defense at the start of turn, but, you know, she's just predicated on dodge, right? So, once she starts do dodging, she's gonna, she's gonna get insane here, so... Uh, that's all we need, and then Vegeta's support buff's gonna kick in at the end there, so... We we will see her attack stat go up there. There we go. We're gonna see her attack stat, yep. 5.6, not bad. I mean, I mean that's that's really good, right? And as she um, attacks, she's building up defense. So for these first, like, two turns that she's on rotation, she's gonna be pretty good. Ooh, don't like that! Also, she gives this Koku his unit super attack, so he's also at 10 million. Man, this kid Goku's insane. What are we getting that guy, by the way? I know they put him in this, but uh, he could he could get his own. 11 million. You want to give me the triple? I hope mine. I hope mine with the full dodge build gives us the triple super. That would be that'd be good. Oh, there's the crit. Okay, well he didn't, but he did give us the crit on the super attack. So, uh, you know, mine's built full dodge, and he actually crit on the super attack. So, you know, I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, watch your attacks that shoot up after this hit. This Vegeta is fully built up. Okay, I don't know that we actually got to see it, but whatever. Alright, this is good. Uh, Android 8's gonna lock down slot 1 for us. Kid Goku's gonna lock down slot 2 for us. And DKP's gonna... Um, yum, 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 yum. He's gonna eat slot 3. Yeah, uh, yeah, good luck, buddy. Uh-huh. Yeah, you, you, you super Android 8. Uh-huh. Yeah, good job. Uh, so Bulma's gonna be a lot stronger on this next turn because she does have one of her stacks up now. Um, this is kind of why you would want to give her a little bit of additionals, because she does build up a lot of attack and defense from that super attack effect. So if she's getting additionals, you're going to get a lot more value out of her actual stats. But, uh, I think the overall value that she's bringing to the team is that dodge for the first couple turns. So, like, if you're really using her, like, seriously, I think you just want to go full dodge. Um, because, like, I, I don't think she's going to build up enough stats to be able to actually, uh, like, realistically tank. Like, if that makes sense, like, uh, like, she'll be able to take normals just fine, like, if you give her additionals, but, um, do you guys know what I'm trying to say? Like, uh, even at her max, like, attack and defense, or at her max defensive performance, like, it's not going to help her that much compared to just taking no damage from dodge, which is what you want her to do. I don't know, people say all the time, I don't see the point of giving a unit dodge when they already have dodge, but it's like, well, you're just, like, increasing that ability that they have more like you're just you're reducing the chance that they don't and what you want them to do is dodge like that's what their crit kits based around 
That's what you want them to do, so just do it. Um, I'm actually going to put her in the middle here so that we can get, like, Scientist and Brainiacs active. Or not Scientist, uh, just Brainiacs, yeah. And Shattering the Limit, though, that's good. Uh, again, yeah, look at that jump at her defense. <laughs> Dude, look at that, that's insane. Um, we're going to put her in slot 2 there, that's actually going to be better for her. I'm not worried about Kid Goku in slot 1. He'll be just fine. Peachy. We can get one orb with Bulma, and then we can make sure... We just need to make sure Jackie Chun gets his, uh, 18 key super attack to get his, uh... Oh, whatever buff up. Okay, you, you could have dodged that one, buddy, but that's okay. He's not gonna take much damage here. Even though he gets, like, all of his defense on super. Yeah, 200k. What a guy. That's, like, the third or fourth best TUR or something in the game. Crazy. Uh, it just insanely better than Yamcha. I, uh, listen, anybody who says that Yamcha's better than that kid Goku, you've not played the game. I refuse to believe that you've played this game. I just, I can't believe that you've played this game. No, we haven't played the same game. You've played, uh, you've played, like, Jokon Battle with a J. And J-O-K-E. Jokon. Yeah, there we go, Kid Goku. Uh, there we go, 3.8 from Bulma. Again, not the craziest attack stat in the world, but, uh, you know, her dodge chance is really gonna shine out here. This is her last turn with her intro buff up. Okay, nice, we got an additional. That's huge. Again, keep in mind, mine is no equips, so, you know, we could see, like, better out of her, but it is what it is. There we go, girl. Very good, very good. Ah, uh, let's see. Nice. Ooh, I'm glad this is the last video recording of tonight. My uh, throat's starting to die out a little bit here. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and transform Vegeta. I love this OST, let's get it in the video. There we go. It would have been nice if they gave Bulma like an OST or something, but hopefully they save it for like a Dokkan Fest exclusive Bulma, which I think we could get eventually. Um, I think they could just do, like, the Namek Bulma and have her, like, in her crab fighting suit or whatever. I think that would be, uh, that'd be a good Dokkan Fest Bulma. Like, she's, like, fighting crabs and, like, giant fish or whatever in that thing. They could definitely make super attack animations out of that. They've referenced, like, crazier, so. That would be a really fun Bulma. They could even have, like, a unit super with, like, Goku and Krillin or, like, Gohan or something, like, where they show up and save her or something. I don't know. It'd, it'd be funny. Kind of like the, uh, like the Boo and Hercule, where, uh, like, Hercule gets scared and Boo shows up and beats up the enemy. I think they could have something, something like that with, uh, Gohan and Krillin and Goku, or even Vegeta somehow, right? You know what they should do? They should do a Monster Zarbon Dokkan Fest with a Part 2 Bulma. That would be, I would, that'd be, like, the weirdest celebration ever, but I love it. Listen. We have Tapion and Minosha as a part 2 summonable LR. They can do part 2 summonable Bulma. Like, in her crab suit? Come on, let's do it. Come on, Dokkan, make it happen. You imagine, they make her SSR the, uh, like the Bulma in her, uh, uh, not her space suit, but the, uh, like, whenever they're flying to Namek and she's just in, like, the gray sweats or shorts or whatever. Yeah, that, that, that could be, like, the SSR. Can you imagine? Oh, look at him! There he goes! He's wishing this needs to be a Dokkan Fest. Please, Dokkan, listen. I need that. Alright, so Bulma, we can, we can just throw her in slot 1 here. She should be fine. Oh, or we could end it with Kid Goku's active skill. Well, listen, it's it's Bulma Showcase, but I kind of I kind of want to... I kind of want to end it with this. What is Bulma Showcase? Uh... uh Fine, uh, just give the ball. I really want to do that though. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's the Bulma showcase. Now keep in mind her dodge chance is like much lower now. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Bulma's the goat. Look at that. 5.7 million. This is a free to play unit, by the way. Free to play unit with her own orbs that takes a bunch of other like free to play units to grind up. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I mean, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, come on. Free-to-play unit. 
I had an easier time recording the showcase than I did the Yamcha showcase. Come on. I right, look at this team. This team is not that crazy, okay? Uh, hang on, we gotta break this down. I just noticed this. Listen. Okay, let's look at this team. Because before anyone says, well, this is the way. Listen, I was taking whaled out teams into the Yamcha showcase, okay? We had Yamcha. We had the Carnival Goku. We had Toe Confess God Goku. We had Tech God Goku. Like, come on. Those were whaled out teams in those Yamcha videos. And then I come in here. Free to play unit. Banner unit. Free to play unit. Free to play unit. Uh, new banner. Okay, this guy is like kind of premium. He was just on the new banner. But honestly, I think the God Goku banner was good enough to summon on. And again, premium unit that's only been around once. Okay, sure. But again, I thought he was powerful enough to summon for, so. But if you look at the core of the team, we got three free-to-play units on here. We just know items sell max easier than Yamcha. Yamcha took me two tries. I mean, come on, look at this. I don't know if that's a testament to Kid Goku just being leagues above Yamcha. But I mean, I thought Bulma looked better than Yamcha, so. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is Bulma better than Yamcha? Maybe. I don't know. You tell me. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time.